My name is Fabian. I live in Berlin. I study history and work here at the Topography of Trevor as a receptionist at the information desk. And also, uh, just I know there is a day remembering uh, the liberation of Auschwitz in January. And there's also a day in August uh, for the victims of Nazism and Stalinism. I know them, but I'm not sure if Memorial Day is forced from above are helpful for uh, strengthen remembrance, memory of what is it is uh, supposed to remember. I started an internship here at the Gedenkstättenreferat, which is a central point for networking for the cause of you know, a better communication of centers on sites of remembrance in Europe and also worldwide. In Germany, <coughs> the Nazi era, the Third Reich, National Socialism, the 12 years are yes, a very um, important topic starting at school. The first time I learned about the Holocaust was when I watched the documentary on television with my parents and then my mother explained, me, explained to me what the Holocaust actually was explained it to an eight-year-old child, which I was, and I was overwhelmed by what she said, and even though she explained it in very easy language to me, uh, from this day on it has been part of my memory, I guess, because I could not believe that human beings uh, were able to do so. And, of course, um, the crimes of the Nazis are um, an omnipresent issue at school. You talk about National Socialism in every subject, except for sciences probably, but it's, you treat it in history, of course, then in German, when you do um, religious religion, which is also a subject, you always talk about anything that is anything that is uh, connected with the Nazis. I remember also uh, that was probably that's a memory I can recall is was even I was even younger than eight. I was still going to kindergarten. I remember images in my head of Theresienstadt in Czech Republic. My grandparents all died when I was still very young, so when I was eight I didn't have any grandparents left, so I couldn't um, ask questions myself anymore, but of course I asked my parents about my grandparents' role in that time, and also I f got some letters that my grand-grandmother wrote when Dresden was bombed. She lived there. Mm. So it's important for me to have these family-related sources, yeah, to, to have them, to study them, to think about that. But I think there's a tendency to, uh, for young people, people that are teenagers now to to say, okay, uh, we have talked about that um, a lot and we can move on. I think it's uh, important for every generation to, to learn about um, the 20th century history mm -hmm. uh, again. Because otherwise uh, it will be forgotten, no? We should watch what's happening uh, starting with Europe, we should not um, mm, banalize political 
events. For me, it's really hard to, to, to draw comparisons. I don't think that's right. We should just, um, yeah, uh, take history. We should approach history scientifically and um, what's happening now is, that's political. The best way to conserve the memory is to uh, transport it via education. I think memorials, remembering the past, are a good idea because um, even people that are not very um, well informed uh, pass by. For example, here topography, here terror. They come here and they enter. They uh, read and see what is shown here in the permanent exhibition. No, I don't think there can be um, too many memorials. Um, I mean, each memorial is for another cause, for another thing. So these are different topics, the memorial addresses. These days are commemorated, but um, not by the common people. It's uh, set up in a frame of, of rights. So that's what it is. Well, I think that um, National Memorial Days are more important than the European ones. In Germany, November uh, 9th is far more known, important for um, remembrance than uh, January 27th is. Um, so I think that in Europe, every nation has its own Memorial Days that are more important than these newer Memorial Days that try to have a universal European approach. I don't think that the European Union should create a great memorial for what happened in the last century. I think it's more important to have a decentralized structure um, with so many sites of remembrance we have in Europe. I think that uh, official memory is always influenced by um, the current political situation, by the co current government. That's just how memory works. It is always a thing from now that uh, our yeah, our values, our mm, it is our values, our intentions that yeah make use of history and make it to memory. I think every European nation has its own national narratives that are still very present nowadays, and there is no common European narrative found yet that could substitute these national narratives. We have a left party that um, remembers the day when Liebknecht and Luxembourg were shot. Mm -hmm. That, but I think that's, yes, every party has its own memory, but um, the Traditional German parties have a very um, European, nice European approach to memory. I think, of course, if you look at right-wing parties, they have different uh, memory, memorial causes, but that's uh, inherent, I think. Uh, I think if one can say that it, one is influenced by history, it would probably be the time of uh, the 1930s, 1940s, because that is really history, and um, what, is, what has happened after 89 now is only becoming subject of history. So 